Hello Kitty advertisement. You know, of your he, house. I, it wouldn't fly in my homeowners association. No, I just, I just like the name Adzuki. It is it's pretty it, clever. Is. Um, here's what we often do on the KTLA Morning News: we expose the truth, and here's the deal. <laughs> Nigel Lithgow, very smart, bright guy, American Idol. So you think you could dance? Tons of television success. The entire time, it's really been the work of his son, Simon. <laughs> and so Simon is here, and finally dad lets you come out of the house, <laughs> even though you've mastered the whole thing the whole time. I would love to take credit for it all, but I can't really. He has helped me along the way a little bit. All right, fair <laughs> enough. You know what, before we talk about the project the two of you are working on together, let's talk about American Idol a little bit. And one thing we were talking about in the green room, uh, I think as good this year as any year, wonderfully entertaining, a wonderful pool. And as we look at somebody like Pia, you were saying to me, which I thought was so interesting, the reason it's better is because this year, the Pia's made it through when in years past they hadn't. And why did yeah. they, why did she? Uh, I think because Steven Tyler and Jennifer Lopez are performers themselves, they gave the kids an opportunity of growing in the audition room. Hmm. So they said, no, that's not right. What you're doing there is not a good audition. What else do you know? What else can you sing? And so they were given the opportunity of doing more in the audition room and they weren't asked to leave immediately, you know? Oh, interesting. Uh, and, and I think that, and then we took an awful lot more people to Hollywood this year. We took something like 350 people to Hollywood, which is about 150 more than we normally take. Uh, and so um, people were allowed to grow there and then. And, 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 I, and I think we saw talent come through and blossom. I think you have succeeded very much so with both Stephen and Jennifer. How long was that list? How many people did you look at? And there were quite a, quite, quite a few. <laughs> yeah. Simon, please. <laughs> Before you narrow it down. did you see? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I left Idol about four seasons ago, so um, I, I had nothing to do with this season. Okay. <laughs> He's being the dutiful son. Uh, as we take a look at it, because this is the bridge to the new show we're going to talk about on CMT, Scotty I like on Idol very much. Is Scotty too narrow to succeed? Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, I, I think... Each one of them, each one of the guys this year is unique into themselves. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very interesting because you can actually focus and realize who you're voting for rather than randomly voting. And I think that's very important. That's mm -hmm. a very, very fair point. Scotty, a country singer, a new show on CMT that you're both working on. Let's talk about that, Simon. What's it about? Uh, well, it's very different from anything we've ever produced before, to be honest with you. We, um... A couple of blokes from England don't produce a lot of country music. No, this is very true. <laughs> but, but to be fair, uh, Keith Urban in Australia yeah, yeah, is the biggest point. thing in country music. That's a good yeah. point. That's yeah. a good point. And worldwide. after I left Idol, I, I worked for CMT on another show called Can You Duet back in Nashville. Right. So uh, it was kind of a progression of that. And this is uh, just a really unique, different show where um, we start with our top ten country artists. We turn the country upside down like we do on Idol. We found the top ten country artists uh, different, representing sort of different genres of country music from outlaw country to sort of bluegrass country and we challenge them each week. It's a very, very different, unique show. We're sort of really down and dirty. We're not, in a, we're not a glitzy studio show. Uh, and, and they're singer-songwriters. So ah. they're, they're, they're being challenged I with, OK, things. we'll take sure. them to a prison, now write a song about that. <laughs> OK, we'll ta take them to a military base, write a song about that. Uh, and, and I think that was the fun of it. Because country music really does tell a story. I mean, there is much this more of a the big storytelling. Thing about country right. music. The, the biggest star Idol ever produced, I would submit to you, is Carrie Underwood, a yeah. huge uh, right. country yeah. act. Yeah. In your own personal playlist, do you like country music better than other? I, I love country music. And uh, Carrie Underwood was a dear friend of mine, and I was actually the producer that went out to her hometown and found her. Mm. Um, and that's... Got chased by her bull. <gasps> <gasps> no way. I really did. True story? <laughs> True story. I was... Uh, Carrie was out feeding the cows in the middle of this field and her little dog bit the bull's hoof. Uh-oh. The bull charged for the dog, the dog charged for me. <laughs> wow. And all you see is me this with this camera going, ah! And you see my legs going, Ugh. I just like the way you said hoof. Uh, let's take a look at the new CMT oh, show. Watch this. Story. Simon, here was for the uh, country people to do a pop song. That was a good version of I Kissed a Girl. When did your dad stop giving you an allowance? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, stop? stop. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Nigel, you must be very proud because every parent wants their child to do better than they have. And yeah. I think you, uh, you're you on the right track And I here. stopped my boys dancing. I said, oh, you don't need to go into dancing yeah. you, because it's such a tough life, you know? Yeah. So he's come into this side of the business and that's a really tough life too, well, as you know. Uh, is everyone in reality television who's British named Simon. 
<laughs> or was Nigel. A, there was a whole year where every baby was called Simon. There's a lot of girls wandering around. Why am I called Simon? Why am Simon? I Simon? <laughs> a girl called Simon. That's a great film title. Oh, father and son doing Simon. so well. CMT's next superstar premieres Friday, April 8th. Look at him pat the sun on the hand. It's a beautiful Isn't that nice? Uh, brand new idol uh, on tonight. We'll hit you up for tickets. Well, later. I said nice in the tease. Thanks so much. I said in the tease that they were brothers. Thank so well, yeah. one of those, Thank you guys. one of the two would be happy about that. Well, there we go. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame tonight. Congratulations. Yeah, Very so exciting. It's, it's gonna Very exciting. You know what? You do, just who's, do you think there are particular front runners? He uh, well, is up. I, I get the votes, so I know. Oh, so I'm, I'm saying nothing. Tight well, lip, tight lip. All right, we will ask him off camera. We'll talk about it all tomorrow. <laughs> and right, then tweet it. it. Exactly. Big Waylon Jennings fan over here. I, I, I love Waylon Jennings. Yeah, I know my outlaw country. Yeah, you do. Uh, yeah, that's right. All right. Let's